Good evening, VC. Dave, the pickup artist, with you this evening. Oh, let's see, a pretty uh, mediocre week. Had a few uh, pickups, uh, dollar bin stuff, and my first one I've got is a uh, estate sale pickup, and uh, it's a band I've always loved. UFO phenomenon. This is their 70, I think 77, this one came out. The great uh, UFO. They started out as a uh, kind of a psychedelic prog band in the early 70s. And this album is, they're pretty much classic rock. Great album. Also, uh, album cover by Hypnosis. Great album cover. That was an actual photo. And yes, that was actually an actual UFO, too. Priscilla's label. Yeah, the lineup. Phil Moog, vocals. Andy Parker, drums. Pete Way, bass. And Michael Shanker, guitar. Michael Shanker, I read recently. Michael or Rudolph, Michael Shanker or Rudolph Shanker accused the other of being a substandard guitar player. So, looks like we got another brother feud uh, in the rock and roll uh, thing. But, but this is great, glad to have this one. I had it, I have it on CD, I believe, but, and the vinyl play is great. Ah, uh, next we got a great one. Joe Cocker's first album. Kind of a, cover's kind of bunged up a little bit. With a little help from the spread, you gotta love that album cover. But uh, yeah, um, now his friends are, some of them are uh, of course, uh, Jimmy Page. We got Jimmy Page. Now, this album came out in 79 and I'm thinking uh, Paige probably did his tracks, his uh, guitar tracks, right before uh, Led Zeppelin, maybe in between the Yard Bridge and Led Zeppelin or something like that. But we've also got Steve Winwood. One thing I didn't know, I knew uh, uh, Jimmy Page uh, did session work for bands and uh, you know uh, musicians like Donovan, but I didn't know he played on, he plays on most of this album. He's got guitar solos and so yeah, and it's a great album. You gotta give Joe credit, he's a great vocalist. Uh, he's got two Bob Dylan albums, mostly covers. And of course, uh, with a little help from my friends, I don't know if this was before or after Woodstock. I, I should have checked that out, but yeah, this is great. Sounds good. A&M label, glad to have that one. I think I've got all of his early albums now. Oh, I was glad, glad to see this, especially in the dollar bin. This is one of my favorites. Laid Back. Greg Allman. Look at that cool album cover. It folds out. That is very cool. This is on the uh, Capricorn label. Capricorn was home to a lot of great Southern rock acts, but uh, uh, other acts too, like uh, uh, 311 and um, uh, Sea Level, a bunch of different bands. And I love the inner sleeve or the inner cover of this. We've got uh, Greg with what, I don't know if that was his first wife. Uh, I think her name is Janice. I think he dedicates the album to her. And we've also got uh, some Allman Brothers members in the band. Also, they're joining uh, Greg. Uh, J-Mo on drums and Chuck Level from the Allman Brothers. This is just a fantastic album. I, I love it. Uh, it covers everything on here from... Uh, you know, Southern rock, jazz, there's some jazz on here. Um, 
He does a cover of Midnight Rider. It may even be better than the Allman Brothers cover. I don't know, maybe not. You'll have to check it out, but it's great nonetheless. Uh, these Days, I think it was These Days, was actually written by uh, Jackson Brown. And I read that uh, Greg hooked up with Jackson Brown in California in like 68, 69, when uh, he was doing some work there. And uh, that was a, one of the first songs that Jackson Brown ever wrote. But yeah, glad to have this one. I had it on CD, glad to pick it up on vinyl. Perfect, I've listened to it, not a scratch or hiss on it. You can't beat that for a dollar. So yeah, I'll add that. And let's see, oh, another great singer, Van Morrison. Moon Dance. Glad to have this one. I think this is late 60s. This includes a uh, inner cover with a fable from Janet Planet, who happened, I believe, was Van Morrison's girlfriend or wife at the time. Um, it's got some great songs and it stoned me moon dance uh moon dance i didn't hear it when it first came out the first time i think i heard the uh song moon dance was in a movie uh called american werewolf in london and uh they were play the song moon dance is playing right when the uh, werewolf when the guy turns into a werewolf very scary moment but it was one of those movies that was scary but funny too like and uh yeah i love that movie but that, i think that was the first time i heard ever heard moon dance but uh yeah can't be van morrison especially the early stuff i like that oh and finally we're gonna wake up the king of all the taverns we've got uh also in the uh dollar bin i believe i belong to a uh uh, Facebook group called uh, Tribute to the Worst Album Covers and I always see this one so when I saw it for a dollar I said well I want to pick it up. It says little David Wilkins King of All the Taverns. Yeah check him out in all his glory. I'm thinking does anybody remember John Daly the golfer? On the back we have the back cover. Now I listened to one track, and it was a good track. Uh, this first one, "Love in the Back Seat." Now, I think if little David has one more Big Mac, he's not going to be able to fit in the back seat. But I got to tell you, I got this uh, planning on goofing on it, and I will. But it turns out the joke is on me because. Uh, this guy is apparently now worth uh, 34 million dollars. He was a uh, he played in bars in the 60s. Then in the 70s he wrote songs for like people like Mickey Gilly and uh, country stars, and he made a fortune doing that. Uh, and he also put out a couple of these albums. And so, what can you say? Uh, and uh, Elvis Presley had a uh, a single, a nineteen, a single from 1975 called "Trouble," and apparently it was based on the song was written about him. Elvis didn't write it. Elvis was outsourcing writers, but the song was about this guy. So, yeah, he's still alive too. He's like 75. This guy has been everywhere except the salad bar. And let's see, yeah, uh, very cool. This guy is the king of all the taverns. And I am Dave, the pickup artist, and I'll see you next week.